Hello and welcome to Shop Talk. Today we're going to show you how we create this two-tone effect on the front of a GTV. This is something you very well may be able to accomplish at home. A little bit of know-how, a little bit of courage. This is not that hard of a job to do. And we'll show you how it's done. In order to create this effect, you're going to need two different types of tape. You're going to need fine line tape, otherwise known as quarter inch tape, and you're also going to need one inch tape. First part, you're going to start with the quarter inch tape, creating the overall image you want the nose to take shape of. The nice thing about quarter inch tape is it's really malleable and you can create just about any image you want. Also, you can re-lift this tape and reapply it if you don't like what you've created. But I wouldn't get too complicated on the tape because you're going to have to replicate this on the other side of the car for a symmetrical paint job. Once you've made a design that you're happy with in the quarter inch, you'll then need to take the one inch tape and overlap that quarter inch tape. This will protect the rest of the paint job from overspray. A little bit of patience and practice and making absolutely sure that everything is very tight is very important. But again, the tighter the tape, the more likely it is to lift. Now that the basic design has been outlined in the quarter inch tape, we will add another round of tape, which is one inch tape. The one inch tape is merely there to protect the quarter inch tape from lifting and creating uh, overspray onto the blue. Once that's been done, we go back to the very leading edge of our outline and we put another round of quarter inch tape, but only a portion of it is to overlap the actual nose. What's going to happen is, is once the base coat's been applied, we will peel away that tape and then in turn apply our clear coat. Our clear coat will now go past the base coat, effectively making a shell to protect the base coat color. Now that everything's taped off, we're ready to prep the area for paint. We start with two different types of sanding pads here. They both have the same grit level, but we're going to keep one wet and one dry. The wet one is for just about everything other than the areas right up against the tape. We will use the dry in that area and we'll be careful not to scratch onto the tape itself. What we don't want is the sticky residue from the tape to transfer into the paint because that will show up when we apply our color. So when we start, we're going to sand the areas with the soapy solution on one pad and work the middle of the nose. Make sure to get all the areas that are in between the headlights, headlight rings, all the tight crevices because effectively if you don't get everything scratched, the paint won't stick. In a matter of weeks it'll start to crack and flake right off. Once we've got all the wet areas done, we take the dry pad and we go back and we butt up against this taped off area. This is making sure that the paint will adhere to the entire area that we were painting. In the entire process of painting the nose, this step is probably the most important. So be patient, take your time, and make sure everything gets scratched. Again, the efforts here will only pay off more on the end results. And on a step nose car like this, there's lots of hidden crevices. So make sure once you've cleaned it all off that you don't see a shiny spot anywhere on the car. Now that we've completed the sanding activity, it's time to move into the cleaning process. We start with using special lint-free paper towels. Be prepared to clean the surface at least two if not three times prior to moving on. Those tight areas around the headlight buckets and anywhere else that you can't really see are incredibly important that you pick up because once the paint's applied, if that area wasn't sanded or even worse, wasn't cleaned, the paint's going to show it. This is not something you should take lightly. Now it's time to use wax and grease remover. This is to ensure that the paint will adhere to the surface. 
It's important that you wear gloves at this point because wax and grease remover is a strong detergent and it will dry your hands out.